Question two. Pure water dissociate according to this equation to form the hydrogen ion and the hydroxide. The equilibrium constant for this reaction, known as Kw or the ionic product of water, so is uh, equal to the concentration of uh, hydrogen ion and the hydroxide ion. At 25 degrees C, the Kw uh, the value is uh, 1 times 10 to 14 and therefore the pH of the pure water is uh, 7 okay, so because it's negative uh, log concentration of the H plus and the concentration of H plus is 1 times 10 to 7 so we get pH 7 a student find the pH of the pure water at 35 degrees C is uh, 6.84 so when temperature increase, now we know pH is lower. This one is not really means that the water now is acidic. It just when higher temperature, the water ionize more and form more H plus. When H plus is more, then the pH is lower because its uh, pH is equal to negative log concentration of hydrogen ion. And the student investigate how temperature affect the pH of pure water and determines the value of enthalpy change of dissociation okay, of water. And after that, the student record the pH of pure water at different temperature and the lines a line of best fit from the result uh, shown in this figure 2.1. Okay, so from here we know that when temperature increases increases the pH decreases right so this is a relation it because okay the water ionize more and form more H plus again the water is still neutral okay part A1 use figure 2.1 to calculate the hydrogen ion concentration of the pure water at 45 degrees C Okay, this one, this expression given. Uh, so uh, from the figure, uh, if you check, you will get uh, pH uh, 6.7. Okay, so therefore, we can easily calculate the concentration of H+. Plus. So it's 10 power of uh, negative uh, 6.7. So you get uh, 1.995 times 10 power negative 7. So this one is the concentration of hydrogen ion. Okay, part 2. Calculate the value of Kw for the pure water at uh, 45 degrees C okay so this one because we know that the concentration of hydrogen ion is uh, equal to the concentration of hydroxide okay for the pure water so therefore we just use the uh, the concentration here and uh, uh, square so after that we get 3.981 times 10 to 14 uh, so this one is the kw value at 45 degrees C which is much larger than uh, the kw value at 25 which is 1 times 10 to 14. Okay, so from here we know that the relationship between the Kw and the temperature so uh, is uh, as temperature increases, uh, Kw also increases. Part B, the student determines the Kw at the range of the temperature and uh, <clears throat> the result shown in table 2.1 Okay, complete the 2.1 make sure this one this uh, 1 over t is 3 sf and uh, the log kw is uh, two decimal places okay calculate and make sure it's uh, 3 sf and two decimal places you get full marks okay so after that uh, plot a graph and show the relationship between the log kw and 1 over t uh, draw a line of best fit circle one point on the graph that consider the most uh, abnormal okay, so let's go move to the graph first to see uh, how it looks like okay, make it uh, smaller okay, this is how it looks like for this uh, okay, uh, you can do much better than me again so make sure uh, the, <clears throat> the line pass through as many plots as possible and it's balanced and uh, from here we will get uh, one at most abnormal point 
uh, which is uh, at the uh, two two point nine two around two point nine two uh, times ten power negative three. Okay, uh, so per Kelvin. Okay, so this is the one, and uh, we will come back to this graph and discuss there. Yeah? Right. Okay. Uh, now, uh, for part four, I suggest one reason to explain the abnormalist point that you have circled. Okay, assume there was no error in determining uh, Kw. Okay, so the reason is pH was recorded at lower temperature than the uh, 343. So we need to know the pH that uh, record, that recorded if you use to calculate the Kw. So because from pH, we will know the concentration of H plus and we can get the Kw. Okay, so again, the explanation is pH was recorded at lower temperature than 343. Okay, the 343 is actually this one. 343 is the last last one, means the highest temperature. Okay. So means this is the 343 plot. 343. And from here we know that okay, this one is uh went to left, the temperature is uh temperature uh is uh, increases. So from here we know that uh the pH that obtained, which used to get the Kw and log Kw later, so is actually measured at this lower temperature, around this. Uh, so because the pH measured, okay, the, uh, is uh, uh, at lower temperature, so therefore is give uh, this uh, Kw's value. Okay, it's supposedly, supposedly, for the 343 Kelvin, the Kw or the log Kw here, the value is supposed to be uh, around here. It because the pH values that measure at lower temperature, which is here. Okay, so therefore, it gives the, uh, this uh, deviation or is uh, contribute to this anomalous. Uh, it because again, because the pH was recorded at lower temperature than three four three. Uh, this is a, this is a, because at this temperature, so the K or the pH and the K log K W value is supposed to be at this point. Means this this plot, right? Uh, so it because of this error. Uh, so it's much is a uh, temperatures that lower than three four three. Uh, that's the reason, huh? Okay. So now let's get back to the question. Okay. I hope you understand what I say. Uh, and after that, uh, use your graph to determine the gradient of uh, line of best fit. Uh, state the coordinates of both points. Uh, you use uh, in your calculation. Uh, and must select from the best fit line. Uh, so you can choose two coordinates. Make sure the coordinates, uh, they are in the line means once you draw this line, you must choose a coordinate from the line. Do not choose the plots that not in the line. So you just choose two coordinates and you calculate. Okay, so this is mine. You can use yours, right? So for mine, I get negative 3000. Uh, okay, so we use this one, this value for next part. Okay, after that, for mine, I get negative 3000. And from here, we know uh, the relation between the Kw and 1 over t is actually this. Okay, so from here, we know that this is y axis. Okay, and 1 over t is this one. Uh, 1 over t, uh, 1 over t is this one. So this one is the uh, the slope. Okay, so means the gradient that we determined in the previous part we can use to calculate the delta H now. So because the gradient that we get is equal to this one, right? Okay, so this one is y, this one is the x. Huh? Okay, so this one is the gradient. Now, so we use the i uh, the value that we get. Just now, negative 3000 equal to this part, negative delta H over 2.303R 
R is the constant, right? So you can get from the table, and the uh, that table will be provided in the exam. Okay, so it's eight point three one. Okay, three thousand times two point three uh, oh three times uh, eight point three one. So get this. Uh, this one remember is in joule, uh, joule, joule per mole. Convert joule to kilo joule. Divide this one by thousand. So you get uh fifty seven point four one four kilo joule per mole. Right. So around this value. Uh. Okay, that's all. Thank you.